Yes. Ew, ew, ew. All about love and your body and you're being distracted, simply being distracted. You have an adversary. All your insects and animals and plants have one. You're here to become better and to get out of what is called Helena or Hell the Earth. Review I am Jay Russell, dancer, choreographer, rapper, astrologer, activist, and holistic dance teacher. And I actually do things in the corporate world. You must do good deeds. Action. It's more than video sharing. Now, sphenoid, bone, and etymology relates to your spermicide, a sphincter, the anus, and the sphinx in mythology. So you are all these things. Pretty cool. Now, one drop of ewit semen equals 40 drops of bone marrow. That is Bruno Mars, Bob Marley, and the Marx Brothers, Men in Black. Hmm, interesting. Now, you have copper, even electricity, phosphorus, and zinc men in your sperm. So you women should learn how to, I don't know, contain it. And if you lose it, men drink your urine and maybe your sperm mixed with it. It's actually high in calcium. It's not bad for you at all. Your phosphorus means the morning star. Oh, yeah. It is in your urine. Why you should try urine therapy. It grew my hair back. It's true. Lucifer is Satan, Saturn, morning star, and Venus. So they're very diverse, these symbols. That's pretty cool, Jay. Back to your sphenoid bone. You're awesome, but you're being played with division today. Sphenoid, once again, is your spermicide. Take your time, Jay. Yes. Now, your spermicide relates to kaid, and it means a killer. So is that like murder or condom sort of, I don't know, influencing you to be a little bit um, negative and liking horror movies and murderers on television? Yes, my control. Kaid Relates to cesarean section, I was that, and Caesar, and cement, and kabuki, whoa, and kafir. Back to that later. Wow, that's incredible. Caesar, even Augustus and Julius Caesar, Jim Crow, Jim Carrey, Jiminy Cricket, are still doing things today, the same letters. They stole it from your sperm. And um, Caesar salad dressing <laughs> looks like sperm. Caesar salad, by the way, I'm going to blow your mind. Takes you right back to what? Watch this. Your coronal suture is the same letters. Santa and Claus, damn it. Are you kidding me? Wow. Now, back to your Caesar. Dressing your mind up for mind control with the white sperm dressing. What's in it? Mm, be careful. Now, Kaid, much respect here, relates to cement Caesar and to a Kafir or a Kabul. Now, Taurus. Kafir is Taurus. However, in Africa, it is an insult. Be careful. It means a heathen and an infidel. Didn't the Arabs call us that after 9-11, the so-called terrorists' division? And didn't King James call Christians infidels when he uh, was a king? Now, statue of Gandhi was removed. Yes, the guru. Because Gandhi actually called Africans Kafirs. Now, who is sad guru? All these famous people you think are one thing are not. Back to your even sphenoid bone. You were awesome, but you're awesomely confused. Now... Sphenoid relates to the most important thing here is your sphere. Hmm, a sphere. Interesting. A circle of friends? Yeah. Your sphere, watch this, means a celestial sphere. And it is hollow globes that move about the world. Your uh, stars, not your earth. Um, it's at nighttime you see them. Celestial sphere relates to what, darn it? Wow, that's pretty cool. Celestial sphere, hold on, wait a minute. Watch this, ding, ding, ding. Is your darn coronal suture in your skull. Wow, Jay. Now... Sphere, celestial, what does it all relate to? Celebrity, damn it, that you love is celestial. And it relates to what? Celebrity is celestial, and celestial means what? So when you worship these uh, celebrities, celestial, ding, 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 even, even, is a Christian or pagan heaven, and it means the heavenly sky. You better wake up. So if you're uh, into religion and you go to the movies, that's blasphemy. They're standing in place of the sky, and they didn't tell you that. Go to the red carpet, bring your damn phone, pull out etymology and say, why didn't you tell me that, Johnny Depp? Yeah, now, your cerulean relates to celestial, but ding, 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 cerveza, and back to Caesar. Julius Caesar, Jim Carrey, Jim Crow, Jiminy, damn cricket, the cartoon. Wow, Jay. Sphenoid bone in your skull. You're awesome, but confused. Now, sphenoid, once again, review. Relates to a sphere. Very important symbols here. Now, the sphere, once again, a celestial sphere is something that floats around in the sky. The sun does that in the moon, yes or no. But you also find a, uh, let's see, crystalline globes. Crystal. Crystal? In your Bible, oh yeah, I don't play games here. Revelation 4, 6 for 10, I cannot 10 the Pharaoh. It mentions a clear crystal sea of glass. But then wait a minute, in his Bible verse, you also find that there are four images. 
Um, the first, a lion, Leo, high astrology. The second, a calf, a calfer. I have compassion, is Taurus. You have a calf, a calf muscle. The third, face a man in your Bible. And the fourth, hear it, is an eagle in flight. And you also find that there were eyes in front and back of this compass. That's four arms, four head, four skin. North, east, west, and south is the news. Your Christa galley is the fourth thing. Is the rooster, is an eagle, is a symbol of a bird, is the same damn thing. Wake up, y'all, you're awesome. Here's your Christa galley in your skull, okay? Christa is Christ. Crystalline, what made your mommy and daddy and all your famous people. Now, here's your eyes in front to back from the Bible verse. West would be front, east is back, or vice versa. What rules the east and the west? Now, your earth has a compass. You have a cross on your body. Put your arms by your side, you make a letter T. Now, the Egyptian gods had eye of Ra, of Horus, and there were Mars, Jupiter, and there was going to be uh, Saturn. Wow, that's very, that's very interesting there. So you have the eye of what? The Illuminati. Remember the eyes in front and back in that Bible verse, Revelations. Okay, what are the eyes? Now review, Mars, a real star, rules in Aries. Wow, that would be the, uh, the east. And Saturn exalts in Libra, that is the west front and back compass, and in your astrology, your compass, there is Aries in the front, ruled by Mars, high eyes in front, and then uh, Saturn, ruling Libra, high eyes in the back, or eyes wide shut. What made your eyeball? You better wake up, y'all. Now review. Saturn is a ring and a mist. Jupiter is a mist. Mars looks like this. Saturn looks like that with a P900 camera. So these are eyes in front and the back of the Earth. Now, NASA shows you Saturn looking like this and Mars looking like that. So you're being deceived. You understand? You're at war. Now, watch this. Sphere even is mentioned in Isaiah 47, 13. will blow your mind. It says, you struggle with your many consultations. Let them stand now and save you those who see the stars. I see the stars. So anyone into religion right now who damns astrology, it's a sin. It's in your book. Now, you see celestial sphere, damn it. And the new moon. Are you kidding me? Wow. You have a lunate moon bone in your hand. It's the Islamic flag. Don't divide. You will die a horrible death. You're an astrologer again. Phosphorus review is the morning star. There is Horus. Remember the eye is Mars. It's in your urine. So you better get hip. Because review it. Lucifer is Satan, Saturn, morning star. And Venus. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Woo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Shiva, boom, om, J-H-E. Please donate. And if you don't do this work and realize it's all about wisdom and people getting dumbed down, that's it. That's all it's about. Everything's about mind control. Well, your skull is pretty powerful. And it gave birth to everything that's killing you invertedly. Now, that shit is deep. And if you don't do this work, you are the problem, not the Ibit Illuminati. Get your name decoded by me. It'll be very simple, 45 minutes. And we must do this work, people. Otherwise, we're going to get over-sexualized and drained by your pop culture, which is uh, raising your children. And then they'll be raising who? Demons? No. Fight back and get smart. That's it. Love yourselves. And share this. It was fire.